everyone, welcome back to Crafted with Norma. Today I'm going to just do a quick uh, flip through of a journal that was a commission for Cindy in uh, the United States. And uh, I absolutely adored doing this journal. I'd done something a little bit similar and she saw that on my Etsy shop and asked me to do this commission which I've now just finished and a really good friend, Linda, is actually going out to the States and has promised to post it for me. So uh, Cindy will get it through uh, internal post, but we'll let, we'll crack on. Um, I've gone and put a really heavy, chunky heart charm uh, there just to counterbalance the mecha no, can't even say it. mechanics of the um, opening and fastenings. And it's attached to the back with four studs as you can see there and all we've got to do is slide out the key which slides out like so and it's a key that I've used my Dremel to take off the edges and make it smooth so it fits through the uh, the fasteners there and this is an old necklace that I've utilised and I've gone and put I don't know if you can see it, um, a face inside there uh, as well. And then this just flips open and we've got a set of eyes from the Mona Lisa, which I think is a lovely image. And then we flip it open and get rid of all these little baby tags. Uh, we've got a vintage postcard there to journal on and a little note there for you to carry on uh, journaling because the one thing that Cindy did request was uh, some pages or lots of pages to journal on because she does like to journal and then I've got a vintage stamp and uh, put a C there for um, Cindy again let's just lift that up so you can you can see there so there's a little C for uh, Cindy and then we'll undo this and this opens out like so and we've got a loose notebook and again um, Cindy requested some coffee stain papers and I've also put in there some lined paper from a vintage ledger book that um, I found at a flea market so I've put, um, I've put that in there as well and then on this side here we've just got a little folder that I've made and it's sewing um, themed so just some journaling cards uh, in there to uh, tuck underneath like so and then this opens out and we have a vintage postcard and then we've got a notebook uh, which I've just kept there with that um, tag and again I've used um, coffee stained papers coffee stained lined papers because again that was something um, Cindy specified that she would uh, like in her journal that just clips there and then we move it along a little bit and here we've just got a uh, an advert and again you can uh, journal on the side of that there and that just slots into there and here you can see some of the Tim Holtz uh, fabric tape just there just to keep things uh, nice and neat and this opens out and here we've got a botany uh, sample and you can see how I've made those in my other um, YouTube channel crafted by Norma and then just a little tag that just um, slots in there and that tag to be honest was a gift from another crafting friend called Jeanette that just slots into there and here we've just got a signature that I've sewn in and again this is using uh, paper that um, I've got some vintage paper some coffee stain line paper and then this paper here it's, it reads House of Lords Westminster so it's actually from um, London House of Parliament um, and I managed to find that in a, uh, a local uh, charity shop so that's there with uh, 20 pages in and we've got uh, just a little heart charm there so that slots there like so that drops down and then that bit goes onto there like that that bends over there and then that just 
slots around there to keep everything in check. And then moving on to my faux handmade uh, paper quilt. Um, you can just see there the, the nib. And I've used it with an ostrich feather that I had left over from when I made some uh, steampunk hats. And I thought it'd be just quite nice to fit in to that gap that's, uh, that's there. And then moving on, we open it out. And here we've got a little opening there that allows you to open this up. And in here we've got a check or a receipt um, from 1932. And I photocopied it and just used it for um, journaling on. And then a copy of an old 10 shilling note. Uh, no longer in use because we've all gone to coins now. Um, that just slots into there like so. I think that goes, gets tucked behind Shakespeare. And we've just got some paper there to journal on. And uh, that just slots into there like so. There we go. And all kept in place just by sliding that across like that. And then underneath here we've got a magnet holder. You can hear it. And that opens out and I've got a magnet there and I've got a little tiny magnet just there. And we've got a tag where you can um, slot something behind if you wanted to. Like so. And then open it out and then we've got another signature with 20 odd pages in. And again using lime paper, coffee stain paper. Some of the... Um, the House of Lords paper as well and here we've got this slides up like that out of the way we've got a pound note this time and this drops down so we've got some journaling that you can do here and then I've just made some journaling cards using some index cards that I've coffee stained and a vintage uh, postcard and that just slots there that goes there that slides like that to keep everything in place and we can just tuck the pound note underneath there like so and then that closes and then you can hear that go clicks down and then on this side we've got a little notebook there and it's held in place with a Shakespeare paper clip just to make sure everything stays uh, in focus like that a journaling card and then um, that's just a compliment slip again from the Home Secretary from Civil Defence uh, that I've picked up somewhere along the line. And the notebook here again is using coffee stain papers, more House of uh, Lords paper, uh, just as a extra journaling pack. Because as I say, Cindy did say she wanted uh, to have uh, this as a journaling book, and that just slots into there like so. And then that opens up and we've got a tag here and a journaling card, uh, index card there. And then again, some more of the papers. Uh, I think it's about um, 20 papers in there, again, for uh, Cindy to, to use. And then in here, we've got uh, another tag. And again, this was a gift from Jeanette. So thank you, Jeanette, for the tag. And... Uh, this is uh, another um, another tag. I can't remember if I made it or Jeanette made it, to be honest, no. Uh, another index card for some journaling in. And then this one opens out like so. That opens. This flips open. And you've got some coffee stain lined paper there that's uh, ready to journal in. And that just slots there. And I put some paper there so you can actually write what's... Um, whatever you want into into there and this side I've just put an envelope and again with uh, a little bit of um, paper there you can journal in and here I'll just open this out here we've got another signature and then this signature again is uh, just made up just of the House of Lords papers I thought it was quite nice there's just plain paper it's beautiful quality paper and that just slots there like so 
and again you can journal on this side and you can also journal on the other side and then we've got a book that's just made up again of the papers that was requested so it's lined paper coffee stained paper um, some very thin delicate papers which I've actually used to make the, um, the pound notes with and the, um, the ten shilling notes and then if we turn over to the last bit we have got another notebook um, and again that's made with the ledger papers uh, predominantly ledger paper and there we have it that is our journal for Cindy which is heading its way to the uh, USA in the next week or so uh, and again thank you to Linda for uh, offering to uh, do an internal post with it uh, it is much appreciated okay thank you for watching me look out for my new channel which is crafted with Norma and don't forget to check out the old channel which is crafted by Norma I uh, hope to speak to you soon. Thanks very much. Bye.